Chapel. Please give it up for Carlos Garcia. What's up, everybody? I like how all your insults are compliments. Thank you. I have great hair. I'm great looking. Hmm. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Oh, give it up for your host, uh, Mexican Ron Prendamano. Yeah. It's great, it's great. I can say it, I'm for it, it's okay. Oh, Mr. Ron, Ron, Ron. I feel, I feel like I gotta get warmed up, I feel like I gotta get warmed up. Ron looks like if it was legal to drink until the third trimester. <laughs> it's just my warm up, it's just my warm up. If you've never met Ron, you wanna describe him, if you close your eyes, it's like Jay and Silent Bob could fuck each other. That's right here, right there. Right <laughs> well, a lot of people don't know Ron without his beard. He's actually quite baby-faced. He's a baby-faced guy. He didn't have that thing uh, long enough. Ron without the beard looks like he belongs in a playground. Ron with the beard looks like he belongs 50 feet away from every playground at all times. He <laughs> just needs a van. That's it. It's a candy. <laughs> Ron's documentary will not be leaving Neverland, it's arriving in Neverland. <laughs> I got something in my front pocket, children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ron likes to talk a lot about his moves, his sex moves on stage. Yeah, he even does them, so yes. Yes. I have a feeling Ron's sex moves are about as impressive as comedy, uh, comedy Pete's comedy career over here. <laughs> There's a reason why Jessica never smiles. <laughs> I love you, Jess. I love you. I do. I do love you. Honestly, when Ron told me that he, a five foot four chubby white guy, was married to a five foot nine beautiful black girl, I was like, wait, 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 wait. You have a wife? <laughs> Who the fuck would marry you? <laughs> Just goes to prove that love is indeed blind, or in this case, retarded. No. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I, I have a feeling that uh, Ron married an African American girl just so that he could say the N word in public. Not to get out there, but I noticed that he's been downloading a lot more Tupac into his Spotify playlist ever since the marriage. <laughs> Dropping some hard N words out there, people get mad and say, It's all That's my Ron impression. It's like it's like it's like Donald Trump and Gilbert Gottfried fucked together. It's perfect, moist. It's it's funny that you thought he would be a bag tosser at JetBlue because he's already a salad tosser, so it's not that far off. It's not that far off. Okay, well now it's time for me to be nice. Honestly, I am here only because. I demand to see you on a stage as soon as you're done your drop training. You have something that a lot of people don't have, and honestly, it's 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 talent, it's charm, it's charisma, and you belong up here. So work your ass off, make your money, and get your ass back on stage because it won't be the same without you. Love you guys. Oh, give it up for Carlos Garcia, the emotional part of the evening.